But yeah, so if I have bed bugs, um, don't go to Goodwill. Hey guys, today we're refurbishing this miniature dresser. Okay, so I showed you guys my big dresser, the green one that's chalk painted. Um, and that one, I, I painted it with chalk paint, but this time I couldn't find chalk paint, so I just got regular acrylic paint, and then this is called One Step Crackle. Yeah, well, because chalk paint is actually really expensive, and it's hard to find in Hawaii. It's expensive in Hawaii. I don't know about the mainland. I've never bought it there. But, um, yeah, and I know you can make chalk paint yourself, but, like, I was in the craft store googling how to make chalk paint um, and it looked like a lot of there was a lot of instructions and then I and then I looked up and I saw crackle and I was like good enough so hopefully it gives off that antique feel but I'm hoping this will bring some I guess white isn't really a color it'll bring some white to the already colorful green dresser yeah um look how dirty it is on the inside yeah I should probably vacuum it before I start yeah, because it's pretty gross. All right, I guess I'll vacuum it. Okay, some of the stuff is actually really gross. Like, what? What is that? What is that? actually extremely foul. Well, um, so if anything, I'm just not going to open this dresser because I hate it. Okay, guys, I'm actually pretty sure this is like a bug egg or something because look, can you see it? Ew. Do you see that? Yeah, so that's disgusting and it kind of really sets me off to this dresser. <laughs> All right, I just discovered you can actually peel this stuff out. Um, I'm just gonna do that because this pink stuff is actually disgusting me because there are freaking eggs in it. Jeez. Well, I, I took out the interior. Yeah, and then I showed you guys on TikTok and then you were like, throw the damn thing away. Uh, I don't want to throw it away. Oh, but then some of you were like, it's fine. Just keep it. Just clean it. So I'm disinfecting it now. I'm really grossed out. Some people were telling me it might be bed bugs. Are you freaking kidding me? But then that wouldn't that mean the whole entire Goodwill has bed bugs? I don't know. Well, things just got extremely creepy because um, I vacuumed it and now it started playing this scary song. Didn't even know it was one of these music player things and it won't stop. So that's awesome. Um, oh, it stopped. Nope. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, no. I think I might have restarted it. Basically, when I tried twisting the nozzle, I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to put a tissue because I kind of see, look, I'll show you. I'll show you all the mechanics of this thing. So this, this is the music player, but if you wedge a cloth right here, you see that thing? That's what gets the music to play somehow. So, I'm just gonna wedge it so that it'll shut up. Because I don't know how else to get to. Oh, wait! Oh, wait! It just shut up! Cool. I hope it never starts playing ever again. Now that that's over, we're finally gonna paint our dresser that might have bed bugs and might also potentially be possessed! Yay! I don't even have like a plate or anything. I'm literally just gonna. I guess I'll use my bug fork to open this. Eh. Cool. Yeah, I'm literally just gonna smack the paint right on directly. Yeah, and then I'm using the same brush. I'm gonna wedge it. I'm going to wedge it. Yeah, we're just... Anyhow, this is the same brush I used for my, um, 
my green dresser. That's why it's green. TPH, look, this already looks kind of vintage. If I just, hmm, not the worst thing in the world. So what the really nice thing about chalk paint is, even though this isn't chalk paint, the nice thing about chalk paint is like, you don't really have to like try that hard. Like you don't, it, it's totally up to you. So how many layers you want to put and you don't have to worry about everything looking even. That's what's nice about it. So that's why I like it. It's just super simple. Cool. I'm so afraid of this dresser now. I like almost want nothing to do with it. And then I looked up if bed bugs could survive a vacuum and apparently yes. I'm just like <laughs> creeped out by it. Mm. Oh, 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 got paint on my leg. It's playing, I think a dream is a wish or hurt me. Okay, so fun fact. Um, when I was in kindergarten, I was Belle for, um, for Halloween, but it just got me thinking. So, but before then, when I was like a real young lad, um, when I was like in preschool and the year before that, I dressed up as Poe from Teletubbies for Halloween. And um, I dressed up as Poe two years in a row, but different costumes. How cute is that? Like my mom got me a different costume. It's kind of fun. I'm kind of getting paint on the metal stuff. I don't really care because I honestly am not 100% sure I'm even gonna keep this dresser anymore because I'm kind of freaked out by it. But then again, if I can get it to look nice enough, then I guess I will. But right now it's giving me um possess possessed vibes very possessed vibes kind of therapeutic painting actually i'll be honest this isn't therapeutic for me it's not therapeutic because i'm really grossed out by this dresser <laughs> if it was um if it wasn't tripping me out then i would be okay i think this is good enough what do you guys think yep two thumbs ups for me this is actually the exact color i wanted like i kind of want there to still you see it almost looks like beech wood. Is that what it's called? Driftwood or something? I don't know. That's what it reminds me of. So in Hawaii, there's not really a lot of craft stores here, which is such a bummer because I literally love crafts, but there's like no Michaels, no Joann's, no Hobby Lobby. The price you pay to live in paradise. Uh, yeah. I totally got paint like all up. On Look at this. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. A dream is a wish your heart makes. What song is that from? Or movie is that from? Because I know I know that song. A dream is a wish. I don't watch movies. Yeah, I don't watch movies and I don't watch, um, I don't watch a lot of stuff. So movies are particularly hard for me because I, I am, I'm known to zone out. Then I'm really confused the rest of the movie because I missed this big old part and I didn't even realize that I missed this big old part, you know? I don't realize that I'm zoning out when I'm zoning out, so I'm just zoning out. In TV shows, when I start zoning out, it'll just create plot twists for me. Yeah, because like, I'll find something out and then I'll be like, what, I didn't know. And then I'll talk to someone else about it and they'll be like, Kirsten, they literally said that. And I'll be like, what? Yeah, so it just actually works in my favor. I did currently start watching this anime though. One of my friends told me to watch it and that's actually pretty good. Can't even remember what it's called. Erica! It's called The Promised Neverland. Neverland? Netherland. Neverland, not the Netherlands. <laughs> this is what we have going on so far. You see that spot? Is that ugly? I feel like it adds to it, right? Yeah, sure. That's all I'll tell myself. And then this one, which is just whatever. Coolio, now time to read the instructions for Crackle Finish. Apply over painted surface. Dries clear in two to three hours. So, I probably should wait for it to dry, huh? I'm gonna wait for it to dry because I need a break anyway, I'm tired. See ya in like an hour. Except for you, it won't be an hour, it'll just be like the next clip. Which, isn't that a funny thing how time works? Oh, I have a headache. Every time I stand up, I get a headache. Turns out I have low blood pressure. Hey guys, it's actually been a few hours. I don't even know how many, maybe three? The sun lighting looks a little different, but they're dried. And now we're gonna use our crackle paint. Ugh. This just looks so foul, that tissue. Don't like it. Again, I'm just pouring it right on. Okay, let's see. LMAO, the way that did nothing. Okay, it probably, it'll probably crack over time, I'm assuming. I'm assuming. I'm running a blank. Hey, Erica. Yeah. What's something I can talk about while I do this, while I paint this? What'd you say, Mom? 
I don't know what my mom is saying. I'm going to talk about my type, which I've already told you guys, but I'm going to give you an in-depth description of my type. Okay, this is the kind of guy that I typically like. First and foremost, we got to go based off of his funniness. But here's the thing. Funniness actually... Funniness matters, but what also... What matters, I think... I don't know... I think it matters a little bit more is if he finds me funny. Yeah, because if someone doesn't find me funny, I'm offended. I'm offended because I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I know I can be a good time. And if you don't think I'm a good time, then you're not a good time. And then I need to find him funny. And then we can have funny times together. And then that's, that's a fun time. I actually, I typically don't go for guys who are too tall. Um, only because I once had a thing with a guy and he was like 6'3 and it, I don't know, man. I feel like we didn't fit. Anyway, oh, so yeah. But also, I don't really care. And you know, if I like someone enough, I could date a man who's seven feet tall. You know, he'd probably be playing basketball or something. Do you think I'm supposed to put more layers on this? Cause it's not cracking. To antique, simply brush on and wipe back. Did I do it wrong then? What does wipe back mean? Hold on, I'm gonna look this up. Yo, guys, I just watched the tutorial and literally, I did nothing wrong. It's just supposed to start cracking. And mine didn't. But this project was kind of doomed from the start. Do you think this thing is gonna haunt me? I, I freaking hope not. Well, anyway, I'll just show you what it looks like all together. Wait, did I finish telling you about my type? Doesn't this look funny? It kind of looks like a like it's a giant picture behind me, but it's actually just the reflection, which that's fun. Oh, the mailman's here. Fun. Hello, Hello how are you? Good. good. Yeah. Thank you so much. Have a good one. I just got a PR package from Benefit Cosmetics. That's exciting. Um, I'll probably open that on TikTok. You, by, the, by the time you've see this YouTube, you probably already see my PR unboxing. I lost my train of thought. I was talking about smart guys. So, this is the dresser. What are our thoughts? I'll show you guys a shot of what it looks like in my bedroom next. Update. Um, on the bed bugs thing. So. I looked up, because I vacuumed, you know, that thingy, that, um, the dresser thingy, and then I looked up if bed bugs could survive a vacuum, and apparently yes, so I threw away the back vacuum bag. Wait. I threw away the vacuum bag, and now I'm putting in another bag, because I just read online that you should do that, because guess what? found little bugs crawling on it. Yeah, yeah. Like as soon as I opened the bed, I don't know if they were already there, but they were like little white clear bugs. And apparently that's what bed bugs look like. Eh. So that's not good. I'm gonna go hose myself now. But yeah, so if I have bed bugs, um, don't go to Goodwill. Also, I looked it up and apparently, um, uh, so unhappy. So apparently Google doesn't do bed bug control so they don't like search their products for bed bugs. Perfect. I'm talking to the camera. Are you saying we have bugs in the house? I think we should be good though. Yeah, mom? I don't know. You're the one who wants me to say we should be good. A dream is a wish your heart makes. What song is that from? Because I know I know that song.